So, I got this uh, at... Turn that off. I got this at Kohl's, I think. Really pretty. Uh, and my girlfriend likes butterflies. So I wanted to do a necklace uh, with that as a centerpiece. I've made her necklaces before, uh, a couple, and I made her bracelets too. Uh, this is actually part of, oh shit, where's the, I don't know where I put it. It was this nice little like thing I bought. Pause this. So it was a part of this. Uh, it used to be glued, but it fell off on its own, seemingly. From the back side there, you could see. So I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, but this was like an example of uh, the necklace I made for her then. Move my light over. So you can see that I had tried to model it after it pretty well. So without the glare, it goes, you know, from a dark, nice blue to a lighter, like almost like a cyan light blue, and into the green spectrum. So that's kind of what I tried to do here. And so I'm just going to do that for this one now. And I apologize that I'm holding the camera vertically, but I have... Oh, sorry. This is... I had some applesauce for lunch. Uh, so I'm going to do something like that with this one. And the, the newer necklace I made her is a little bit longer, so it's just going to have to be that plus like another that, that long segment to match it. Uh, I made her a back that you could just change out the actual centerpiece colors with. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. All right, sideways. So um, as you can see, this is a, a nice, let me move this, my clean workspace now. Should have done that earlier. Uh, it looks like it is black. Then cyan, or teal, then blue, and in real life it looks purpley, but in here it almost looks like a uh, like a a violet or a bron like a metally metallic coppery violet. But I'm going to use magenta rings to match it. I think it'll be pretty close. So I got these here. Uh, this is all my black. I got a big bag of that. That's why it has its own little container. And so I'll probably use uh, the light blue here. Uh, the regular blue. And where is my magenta? Actually, the wine red might even be better of a choice than the magentas. So I think I might do that. So I'm just going to pop them open and give them a good start up and i'm gonna lay them all out on the pads here and see where we go so i decided uh against uh the red and against the magenta since it's so dark and actually in this light it almost looks like the purple that i have right here so what i did is i cannibalized uh that other one took those out and uh, basically used that entire strip, made a new strip of uh, dark blue, so the green was on the other end, and there was only one dark blue section. So I cannibalized that whole thing, and just going to do small strips of black on uh, the one side. Well, they're identical, they're just, you know, backwards. And this is just straight box Byzantine weave, so it's... It's easy stuff right now, at least for me. I've been doing the Byzantine for all my necklaces and chains, except for uh, this guy right here, which is the Persian weave, which is basically Byzantine, uh, except for you don't do the, come on, focus. You don't do the switcher uh, or the reversal loops, where the loops don't do this pattern. Like the Persian pattern is literally just this, these, this loop going around here and like the mouth Pac-Man loop. It's just that over and over again forever. Whereas this, it forms like a box because you reverse the angle or you reverse the direction. It's hard to explain. I know it looks, it makes sense when you look at it, 
But when you're trying to explain it, like, I guess, in a technical sense, you're, like, this shape is a two-dimensional shape, and you're just folding it. Because it's just chain that goes from one end to another, technically. But you fold... Oops, sorry. Wish I could do a manual with this for focus. Uh, you basically fold it backwards and keep folding it backwards. But these ones you don't fold backwards, so it reverses back. It's like adding uh, or multiplying odds or multiplying negatives. You always get a negative or an odd. That doesn't make... That doesn't work. Oh, it's adding odds. Adding odds with an even or multiplying negatives with... It's a, it's a weird metaphor anyway. I'm not sure if it tracks, but... Anyways, that's what's happening, so... Uh... Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that, how that turned out. I'll take a picture of it out in a moment and put it, like, right now, but... Yeah, no complaints. Uh, went pretty smooth. See how it... See how it goes. I'm sure she'll like it, but... Wish I could package this a little bit better. Uh, it's not even, <laughs> not even in frame. Eh, there we go.